to another Andy B two minute video, and this is actually part two. Um, part one was well yesterday, and we uh, we were given a TV at the weekend by some friends. We fitted it to a universal TV stand, and what we discovered was that it isn't as universal as you might hope. We found that actually part of the metal sheet at the back of the universal fitting that the TV sits upon actually blocked all the um, sockets and plugs for the TV. So, not a problem, thought I. I'll buy some right-angle little sockets. You can plug it into the TV. It goes straight down, and the cables will go in. No drama. Which didn't work. One of them did, but one of them didn't. So, in the end, I did what I probably should have done the first time round. I actually took a little hacksaw. I cut the metal on the TV stand. Not the TV, don't worry. I then um, squished it into place with a hammer and some pliers so it's out of the way. So now there's a nice clear gap for these cables to go in. As it happens, I've actually used one of these right angle plugs anyway um, because it helps us somewhere else on the TV, makes things a little bit tidier. But this got me thinking about how sometimes we can count our chickens before they're hatched. I really thought my solution was good and it was a good idea, but it didn't quite pan out. So what do I do? Do I get fed up, stressed, depressed? Do I throw my hands in the air or think, okay, what's next? It was a few quid for these little plugs and they didn't work, but I used one anyway, so it's not a total loss. And we damaged one in the process, so I can't send them back. But it got me thinking about our lives and how sometimes we, we, we try and do stuff and we know the solution is the right one, but it just doesn't work. And we, we can try and we can try and we can strain as I was with the TV, but it just won't fit. And actually, we need to have a, a little bit of a step back and, and a rethink. So have a check of your life and think, where is it I'm really struggling? I know I've got the right solution and it still isn't working because perhaps what you and I know to be the solution is not. Perhaps we need to go back to God and say, God, what was your solution for this? Is there a better way of doing this? Just a thought.